الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت السميع العليم ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وأنت خير الفاتحين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله نور شمس العرفان ومهبط أسرار القرآن المرشد الحكيم والهادي إلى الصلاة المستقيم أما بعد I'm very happy dear brothers and sisters and brothers that I'm here in this masjid today Masjid Bashir Ahmed um, We're gathering here to start a very um, a, inshallah great noble um, uh, lecture and series of uh, a great book and a great Imam and Alhamdulillah with the effort of the brothers in this masjid and the the, the Muslim brothers before us the, getting this knowledge together and delivering this knowledge to people it's, uh, it's a noble act and uh, it's something that we all uh, should strive for and we should always seek uh, seeking knowledge is a uh, is a wajib uh, is a farb um, and in this preparation alhamdulillah i came across a lot of uh, um, good references of imam uh, uh, and uh, and nawawi and his book al arbaun al nawawiya or the 40 nawawi uh, hadith and, and as i'm sure a lot of people know that these are hadiths which are um, um, uh, very very common and very uh, known to many brothers and uh, in the muslim world um, and it's very fi famous huh, to study these hadiths and we are just trying to uh, uh, to 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 remind ourselves with these hadiths and what they are about inshallah in a series of lectures in this uh, beautiful masjid and we will try to keep this uh, going on uh, inshallah for long uh, weeks and days to come um, as we know all of us are in a, in, a, in a lockdown situation but seeking knowledge never never stops and this is a way of us to relieve inshallah our souls and and bodies and minds you know, to to, uh, to to gain uh, this this khair uh, this this noble so um, in this, in the preparation of this series, inshallah, um, we, we we try to uh, try to get one uh, some of the shuruh of this uh, um, uh, 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 kitab, which is a very beautiful kitab, Arba'un uh, al uh, and we try to, uh, uh, to to read the sharh. We try to get a hadith and read the sharh, and uh, and and we will try to also explain what these hadiths are about and where they came and how they came about. Um, and uh, in, in the preparation of this I came across a lot of references of course and we will seek uh, many of them uh, inshallah across all my the brothers who are going to share this with me and uh, um, and one of them is of course the Sharh of Imam Ibn Uthaymeen which is one of the best Shuruh or explanations of Al uh, Arba'un um, uh, al and uh, and I will try to uh, summarize his Muqaddima uh, or his introduction just for us to know uh, what they are about because I think he uh, uh, touches very nice points about these uh, um, hadith and nawiyah so he starts with saying praise be to God uh, and we seek forgiveness and we seek refuge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all the evils uh, and Ibn Uthaymeen starts and he says Amma ba'd and after uh, as for after al hafiz and nawawi then this is before we talk about Imam Nawawi. Let's talk about his book. Huh? Then we start to talk about Imam Nawawi. Al Hafiz Al Nawawi, may Allah uh, uh, have mercy on him, is one of the companions of the Shafi'i Madhab. So this is one thing to know about him that he's he's uh, from Madhab Al Shafi'i, and he's saying, uh, and one of the Shafi'is most keen of writing. And Subhanallah, Imam Nawawi, he's one of the one of the known Imams in terms of writing. And in his short life, and we will talk about his life, mashallah, he managed to write a lot in just short time of his life. And he said he authored this book of linguistics, huh? uh, and he, he 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 authored books in science and hadith and linguistics. So he was strong in all of them. Okay, 
And Imam, uh, Imam Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen says, he, he's one of the most sincere people. SubhanAllah. And this is a very good point. You know why? Because he says, because his writings are the most spread in the Muslim Islamic world. And SubhanAllah. I mean, if somebody has that sincerity, he doesn't need to do anything. All his, his, um, his knowledge will be spread by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not by his effort, but SubhanAllah, by the by the mercy or the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the point he's making, uh, Imam Ibn Uthaymeen, saying that he most, most likely, he's one of the most sincere uh, people that wrote about Islam and he gave writings or ilm in, in, in Islam. And he says that uh, um, everybody knows about his book, famous book, Riyad al-Salihin. Uh, Riyad al-Salihin, I think, is more famous than, even more famous than the, the book of uh, Al-Arba'un al nawawiyah the collection of the 40 hadiths. And we will come, inshallah, to understand why this is 40 was, was gonna. So he said, um, uh, he's mushtahid also. So that's another thing. So he's sincere and he's a mushtahid. Mushtahid is the one who seeks knowledge and try to add from his learning and from his experience. Uh, uh, in the matter of names and attributes, of course, he says, uh, um, uh, he had a bit of a controversial interpretation of the Quran, which uh, Imam Ibn Uthaymeen doesn't agree with in terms of uh, ta'wil. Uh, you know, uh, the sifat, uh, sifatullah is not the, the topic here, but it's a small thing. But then he says um, uh, a mistake from him, it's, uh, it, 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 it's hidden in the, in the virtue of what he gave and the benefits he gave to the, to the, to the Muslims. Um, uh, and he says, uh, so the, the, the Imam Nawawi testifies to him in what we know, his good condition, he's a mujtahid, and he says, um, uh, if he makes any mistakes, that's, that's may Allah forgive that uh, for him. And he says, in this book, he's talking about now the book, the 40 and Nawawi, he says, which are not 40. So there's also another information. They are not 40 hadiths. There are actually 42 hadiths, but... The people in Arabs, they omit the word, uh, the extra extra numbers after Arba'in. So they don't say 42, they say 40, and, and so on. So, um, he sh he, Imam Ibn Uthaymin here says, it should be a, a, a memorized by all, everyone seeking knowledge. Everyone seeking knowledge should memorize this Arba'in. And this, there's no, this is, he doesn't say this for nothing. Huh? He says this for... A very, a very important uh, uh, hikmah or, or wisdom, and he says uh, they cover all aspects of of almost what is required by the Muslim in this world. So they almost, as if he's saying, they are almost equivalent to having the Quran memorized. So if you memorize these arba'in, you almost cover many aspects of your of your deen from the hadith. Huh? So that's what he's saying. So I think I can, I can, I can end the introduction of uh, uh, Imam bin Uthaymeen there. And mashallah, I think he, he touched very nice point. Then I come to a, a, a commentary from um, a very nice book as well in English, uh, who was written by Dr. Jamal Badi, who is uh, one of the associate professors in uh, International Islamic University in Malaysia. And he also wrote uh, uh, um, about Imam Nawawi and explanation of the, by the way the sharh of Imam Nawawi in al Arba'un Nawawiyah is very extensive almost everyone wrote about it you know so we've got a lot of the modern uh, ulama also writing about it mashallah so he says uh, the very uh, the various principles contained in these hadiths such as the belief the, such as the belief first of all the belief of the muslim what they, what it should be and then he talks about the ethics of the muslim Muslim uh, person and the fiqh yeah? and he said it's very important in the good understanding of hadith uh, uh, based on the scholarly interpretation so we, we, it's very important that we understand these hadith based on the what the scholars have, have said uh, and then he says this commentary is because of that huh? uh, so now and then he says the significance of selected 40 hadith uh, about the fundamental concept of Islam uh, is to uh, construct to construct the minimum level. Subhanallah, these are the minimum level of knowledge you should should gain about your uh, your deen for a Muslim. 
Okay, and he says uh, it's a good uh, uh, knowledge of uh, fundamental aspects of the religion. Uh, the Muslim helps the Muslim in his practice and application of Islam. Yeah, this is very, very great words, alhamdulillah. Um, and now, I think reading these two commentary, it gives us sufficient uh, information why these Arba'un uh, Nawiya, they're very important hadith, and why they are such significant uh, to, to know and to learn about. Um, and now let's come to Imam Nawawi himself. And who is Imam Al Nawawi? Imam Nawawi, first of all, he had a very short life. Subhanallah. He he is a uh, he's, he was born uh, in a, a village called Nawa, okay, in uh, near Damascus, which is Syria in the current days, um, around uh, 631 after Hijrah. Huh? And he grew up in Nawa, and uh, at age 19, he went to study in Damascus, the almost the capital city, yeah, where the most of the knowledge and the and the learning is happening. Um, and he learned in the center of learning and scholarship, and he was, mashallah, one of the greatest uh, in Damascus. Um, he passed away in 676 uh, after after Hijrah. So from 630 to 670 almost. So he almost had only 40 or so years of life, subhanAllah. I mean, it's considered in many aspects of today that this is very young age. It's almost like that's the age when you start living sometimes, subhanAllah. And uh, with, with short life, subhanAllah, he, he gained a lot of knowledge, okay? His full name is Imam Muhyiddin. Abu Zakaria, so the kunya, the Arabs they use kunya, which is a name linked to your uh, to your son, basically. Uh, Abu Zakaria, that's his kunya, but his name was Muhyiddin, huh? Yahya ibn Sharaf al Nawawi, and it's always shortened by uh, by the word Imam al Nawawi. Huh? Um, and he, when he stayed in Damascus, Imam Nawawi, he studied uh, uh, more than 20 uh, teachers. So his teachers were, mashallah, extensive as well. He had a long list of teachers teaching him all discipline of life and, and, and Islamic uh, jurisprudence, uh, jurisprudence uh, and principles and the scientific and etymology of the, of the, of the, of the deen, uh, such as Imam Abu Ibrahim Ishaq ibn Ahmed al-Maghribi, which is one of his uh, teachers, and Abu Muhammad Ab Abdul Rahman ibn Ibrahim al, -Al Fazari, uh, and then Riyad ibn Ishaq Ibrahim ibn Abu Hafs, and uh, Al, -Al Mudari, and also uh, Abu Ishaq Ibrahim ibn Isa Al Muradi, mashallah, and all of these are the uh, in across the Sham at that time, who was the great scholars of Sham. And then Abdul Abba, uh, Abu Abbas Ahmed ibn Salim al, al Masri as well. So he had an endless thrust of knowledge. So he was always seeking knowledge, mashallah. He used to read 12 lessons daily, as they say. And he's in every lesson, he always had uh, a, a commentary about, subhanAllah. Um, whenever books he reads, whatever books he read, he would write uh, notes. So he would be taking notes. Huh? And he will be explaining on each and what he understood. Um, uh, he became uh, they, every every almost every uh, lecture um, uh, uh, student of him. They become fond of him. So he had this nice personality as well, where people uh, loved him and praised him and admired him. Mashallah. And. Um, and then he had this gift of fast memorization. So, mashallah, if he gets a knowledge, and he, he kind of memorized this quite quickly, and he had the depth of thought. So not only he memorizes, but he also adds his thoughts and depth into, the, into that understanding. And uh, that made him, mashallah, a high quality imam. Mashallah, he's a high quality imam with potentialities and earned a highest degree of honor, alhamdulillah. Uh, his uh, Sharh Sahih Muslim, he has a Sharh in Sahih Muslim, uh, Imam Nawawi, uh, and he has a book called uh, Al-Minhaj, Fil-Fiqh, uh, and he wrote in the Fiqh, it's a very nice book, 
uh, list of long books, I think they are very known to us, all of us. Riyadh al-Salihin is his writing. Uh, Sharh Sahih Muslim is another. And he made Sharh Sunan Ibn Dawood. He also explained Ibn Dawood. Kitab al-Rawda. And he said also, he wrote also a book, the Tahbib al-Asma wa al-Sifat. Tahdib, Tahdib al-Asma wa al-Sifat. That's also another book he wrote. And then he wrote the Arba'un, which we're going, inshallah, to cover, inshallah. The Arba'un for him, and yeah, and that actually brings me to his, to his muqaddimah in his book, in the book of Imam Arba'un, inshallah, and I will finish with that. Basically, Imam Nawawi himself, when he was writing that book, he explained why he wrote this book, Arba'un. And we will, uh, I will touch a few things he mentioned in this uh, introductory, when he introduced the book. And he says, in the name of God, the most gracious and most merciful, praise to be to him, the Lord of the world, um, uh, the mastermind of all creatures, and the messenger sends the prayers and peace upon the Prophet wasallam. And he says, the religion, canons, and divine evidence, and the clear proofs. He's talking about the Prophet. And he says, I testify that there's no God but God in, in the one, um, and the generous and forgiving one. I, I bear witness that Muhammad wasallam is the messenger. Uh, the best of all creations. Um, and then he says, uh, yeah, he narrated, then he starts with this. So he starts with the narration. So now this is the purpose of why he wrote this book. He said, is the, is the narration of authority of Ali ibn Abi Talib and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and Mu'ad ibn Jabal and Abu uh, Dar, uh, Darda, Abu Darda and Ibn Umar, and Ibn Abbas, and Anas ibn Malik, and Abu Hurairah, and Abu Sa'id al-Khudari, may all Allah be pleased of them, from many paths of very narration. So he's trying to mention the hadith. So he says, from many paths, these people narrated that the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, whoever preserves 40 hadith, whoever preserves 40 hadith on the matter of the religion, God will send him on the day of the resurrection, when Allah brings back people, in the group of the jurists and the scholars. SubhanAllah. And basically that's what he's, that's the purpose he collected this hadith. He said, because of this hadith that Allah said, for, uh, the Prophet said, whoever understands or preserves 40 hadith in the matter of religion, Allah will bring him in the Yawm Al-Qiyamah with the scholars and the, and the jurists. SubhanAllah. And in this narration, God sent him as a, uh, in, and in the narration, God sent him as a jurist or scholar. There's another narration saying, Allah will send him as a jurist or a scholar. Uh, and the narration of Abu Darda, he says, and the day of resurrection, I was for him a patron and a martyr. Okay. And Ibn Mas'ud narration, he says, he was told, enter from whichever door of heaven you wish. The person who does that, Allah says, enter from whichever door of heaven you wish. And in the narration of Ibn Umar, he says, he wrote in the group, he was be written, he will be written in the group of scholars and was crammed in the group of the uh, martyrs. SubhanAllah. And, and he mentions that in, in, a, in a big paragraph. So as if he's saying, this is why I'm doing this. Then he says, it's agreed to maintain that this is a weak hadith. So subhanAllah, he also has knowledge of the hadith. So he says, this is maybe a weak hadith. But he, he said it came from different paths and methods. And he said, the scholars, may, be, uh, may Allah be pleased with them, classified this as uh, in countless works. The first one I learned was classified by uh, uh, Abdul, Abdullah ibn al-Mubarak. So a lot of, when with this hadith came, a lot of people, a lot of the ulama started to collect hadiths, 40, because of this hadith. So they started to collect these hadiths, trying to be one of these people who will be granted such, such reward in the day of, of judgment. So he said, the first one I came across was uh, the one classified by uh, Ibn al-Mubarak. And then he said, uh, then by Muhammad bin Islam al-Tusi. And then he said, the divine scholar, then al-Hassan bin Sufyan uh, uh, and, and, and Nasawi. Uh, and he mentions a lot of names, and uh, from them is also uh, Dar Qutni, uh, Ibn Al-Na'im, 
all these big scholars, mashallah, all of them tried to collect 40 hadiths for the for, for the sake of this narration, mashallah. And then God Almighty has, he said, invoked the collection of 40 hadiths following the examples of these leading imams. So he says, I'm trying to follow the leading imams and I'm trying to do my own 40 nawawi. But subhanAllah, his 40s are the most the most uh, famous and most known uh, to the to the to the generals, mashallah, to the to the majority of Muslims. And he says the scholars have agreed that it's pers- permissible to use a weak hadith uh, to apply weak hadith and the virtues. So again, he says it's okay to apply weak hadith in the virtues of deeds. Uh, I'm not dependent on this hadith. Rather, he said, uh, in the authentic hadith, Allah says. Let the witness from you reach the absent. Huh? May God be blessed and grant him. God made a matter that he heard my article and its awareness and perform it as he heard it. So whoever gets the uh, from the Prophet Sallallahu and he spread it, he gets the blessing of it. So he says, I'm trying to follow that, but there's no harm following the weak hadith in virtues. Um, uh, Yeah, so he says, subhanAllah, in these 40, he said, then from the scholars who gathered this 40, some of them, they went to the branches, uh, branches of jihad, some of them branches of the uh, uh, manners, some of them the, the branch of uh, sermons, but, but he said, all of them are righteous. That's what he's saying. All of them are righteous. So there's nobody says, oh, this is better than this. That basically, that's what he's trying to say. There's no arba'un better than the another arba'un. And he said, I saw a collection of 40 more important than all of that. He, so he says, I have my own 40, which I think they are the most important. And, and he containing all of that, and he said, they are the greatest base of rules of religion. So this is how Imam Nawawi looks at them. They are a greatest base of the rules of religion. And, and he said, I commit myself to these 40 uh, hadith that they are authentic so whatever he collected he said they are authentic most of which are in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim and I mentioned them omitted from the isnad so he doesn't say, he doesn't mention the long isnad he just mentions the hadith and he mentions just the last person who narrated it just to make it easy uh, and then he said, I added a section of hidden wording and what they mean. So in his Arba'un way, he tried to explain, but not extensively. People wrote books just explaining the Arba'un, but for himself, he just put a small explanation. Um, uh, yes, and he says, um, and we depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanAllah. That's what he ends his, his muqaddimah, and on Allah we entrust, and we praise and grace for him to give us success and infallibility so we don't have any errors in this mashallah so that's the end of his muqaddimah alhamdulillah so we know who is he mashallah imam nawawi the greatest scholar the sincerity that's the most important thing because mashallah he's well well known mashallah and this arba'un how important this arba'un you know this arba'un hadith and you memorize them they're almost like you collected part of your deen in 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 the hadith huh? The similarly, the way you memorize the Quran, you collected a lot of aspects of the deen in this Arba'un. And it was known actually in, um, in the past that people memorize these Arba'un and keep them uh, and teach them to the kids eh? and, and, and try to explain what they are. You will know, inshallah, as we go, that these hadiths are, they, they, you can write books about each one of them, mashallah, and they're very beneficial. They're very valuable lessons in, in the Muslim uh, life. May Allah help us and inshallah uh, grant us success to continue this every week and stay inshallah with us, those in the masjid and those inshallah in the, um, in the social media. Try to get us, uh, um, you know, give us your feedback, how, how to improve this, how to do it better. Inshallah the brothers will start next week and we will continue this for 40, 40 weeks or so inshallah because there are more than 40 weeks, yeah? more, more than 40 hadiths. Yeah? Okay, so, salam alaykum.